Hello there. <clears throat> Excuse me. This talk is on how to practice being non judgmental and develop compassion and empathy and ultimately develop unconditional love. Now, unconditional love is not a given, it's something that we have to develop. Uh, we have to develop that and there's a thing that I call the angelic signs and the angelic signs is what I give a name to those moments when you're about to criticise someone or judge someone you know whether you think it's fairly or unfairly you're still judging them and at that moment I call it the angelic signs that's the perfect moment to practice being non-judgmental to practice having empathy compassion and these things these tr these va these kind of tr things uh, feelings emotions are what develop unconditional love but the only the bet the only time you can really develop it is that moment when you're about to judge so you need life to to play with you you need life to throw these moments in your face and uh, this is ultimately what spiritual awakening is. It's, you know, it's just, you get to the point where you just can't take it anymore. Like Eckhart Tolle likens it to a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. And that's ultimately what it's like. If people want to donate to me, they can. I've got a Patreon. There's a bit on my website where you can there's a donation page at lovelightfamily.com. I just thought I would add that on there if anyone wants to. You can give anything, you know, because I'm not one of those that is going to make courses up or anything. Everything's on my website. I put everything up there, uh, you know. So, but if anyone would like to do that, they can, you know, a donation. But <clears throat> back to what I'm talking about. Uh that what happened to me was I had an unexpected spiritual awakening at the age of 24, not because of some higher divine powers, but because I had enough. And I had enough, and at that moment, I went within my heart chakra. I didn't know what I was doing. I just had it. All I felt was at that moment was I, I had enough. And it was such a powerful feeling of having enough that I knew everything was going to change from that moment. Uh but you could see the way that my life was up to then had led to that moment. But some people choose to kill themselves, and you know. So I learned a lot from myself in that in that in that thing, that experience, the awakening, and that led me to uh, liking myself more, forgiving myself, uh, practice self forgiveness, self love, and ultimately that's where it starts when you're practicing loving other people right you've got it starts on the self like you can't give love from an empty cup right it's love is like a cup and you can't give half of your cup to someone else if if there's nothing there or virtually nothing there so you've so it's all about self non being non-judgmental towards yourself having compassion for yourself, you know, these feelings and sympathizing with yourself and that and then you have unconditional love for yourself. That's what solitude showed me, you know, uh, I've been, you know, on my own for a lot of my life, you know, for large periods. Mum and dad used to do shows, uh, psychic shows with my mum years ago and uh, large periods I would be in a hotel by myself always by myself a lot of the time and that showed me unconditional love because because when you're by yourself the solitude thing it accepts you no matter what and that's the real love but as humans we've got to develop that love you know so so it starts by like i say follow the angelic signs that moments where you are about to judge a person. Remember, your judgment of another person 
is based on your own perception of reality. And that perception of reality has been moulded from birth. It's not your true divine perception. Right? The true divine perception is empathic, compassionate, uh, loving, non-judgmental. But you, we've been programmed to not be like that. Right? Because there's a, a, a very dark force trying to manipulate society. Because this love and compassion is the source, the light. That's what, and, you know, I'm not going to say too much about the COVID stuff and the vaccine, you know, because you can guess yourself what it's all about. You know, they want to completely stop humanity from, uh, from awakening, from having this compassion, because this, I'm not going to say it's reptilians, but the awakening is is meant to happen because life is basically like a movie and the source which you can i call gaia coordinated it all so the awakening is meant to come right because we're meant to understand the bad and from the bad comes the good so that you have understanding so but this uh, development of unconditional love needs to be experienced for our own growth as people. You know, uh, but, but we're going there, but the other astonishing thing is that we've already been there. But as people, we haven't. You know, and the more I talk about this, I don't want to talk about this too much because it can get confusing for people. You know, because when you've been programmed to, to perceive reality from a linear point of view, it, you can't understand how everything can be one. But well, it's very simple. Everything has to come from nothing. How, how does love come from nothingness? Well, because from the nothing, you are, we have awareness. Right? And that awareness, like we're just awareness now, but unconditional love, like I say, it has to be developed. It has to be developed. Before you get up in the morning, you're nothingness. When, you, when you're not dreaming of anything, I mean. And it's just dreams. But unconditional love, as I say, it's got to be developed. It's not a given. Like, just say you have awareness from nothing. I imagine it would be very appreciative for its existence. So it would have gratefulness would come from that amazing gratefulness so that would be that's another element of unconditional love you see that can be a very powerful moment when you're grateful like my awakening you know i always reflect on that and go on about that because th without that awakening moment i would have never went on this path or anything like this and uh, but it was a choice Right, it's a choice. So certain people have born, uh, were born to this world, chose to be born, for that choice to, to have the, this experience and to awaken from it. Uh, if you can hear that, I've got, uh, I've, as I've said before, I've got two mum cats and they've got kittens. So if you hear noises, that's that's just them. You can hear it now, but. Uh, but yes, yeah, so, so start practicing that, you know, in, in, in those moments where you're about to judge someone, you know. And also, the other thing is, is that when, you, when, we, when we judge people, you know, a lot of the time, like I, I watched a psychiatrist say on YouTube a few years ago, he said, the psychiatrist said that narcissists bring others down to bring themselves up, so... I know because I used to be very insecure and the awakening showed me that it's all a mirror. Whatever we're dishing out to others or how we... Uh, it's the reflection of ourselves. And a lot of the time... Well, not all, not all... A lot of the time, all the time, it's the ego. The ego wants to put others down to build itself up. So pay attention. Right? Know when your ego is coming in. 
When your ego is coming in, that the ego is coming in whenever you get that moment you want to judge someone. Because the ego is insecure and it's trying to build itself up. Right? That's the traumatic part of you, the unconscious traumatic part of you that is trying to build itself up to, to demonize another person. So in that moment, you've got to stare into that consciously and that's what shadow work is. And then you heal these traumas that is making you want to judge people. And then, then instead of that, like I say, the angelic signs, practice being non-judgmental and, and practice being compassionate. Feel that compassion, feel the empathy for that person. And this is how we develop, like I say, unconditional love. And I, and I believe that is the cure for all the world's problems. Once we do this, we won't have psychopathic leaders, we won't have craziness, we won't have women going from one relationship to, um, to the other. M men as well. Unconscious men, unconscious women. And, you know, we would have relationships where there's no insecurity. Divine relationships, I suppose you could call it. So the solution is to do that. Any Every time you feel that that uh, the way to judge someone go into that angelic signs as I call it and practice being non-judgmental and practice being compassionate and empathic and forgiving as well now uh, I'm just going to leave it there for latest updates and talks and news everything's on my website my website address is www.lovelikefamily.com thank you for watching and listening thank you